Hello guys, my name is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, what we're doing today is we are taking out the BM-17, which is its first proper take out of the garage, to uh, recover that Caterpillar 45 c Now, the thing is, I might have wanted to take the um, Caterpillar, the heavy truck Caterpillar, but um, this is lighter uh, and they both share the same engine. The only real difference between them is that this one doesn't have a differential lock, which kind of may matter, but I think the fact that this is a lighter truck matters more in terms of um, what we can do with it. The problem that we had last time was that we just didn't have enough strength. Uh, what we're doing for that is... Huh, we didn't, we never been down this road again before? I guess we didn't. Anyways, what we um, didn't have last time was pulling power. Uh, that was without, I think, the upgraded engine, which we now have put on uh, both of the trucks. But uh, what we also did was we used uh, a heavy winch on uh, the BM-17 now. So that should uh, entirely provide us with the pulling power that we need to get that caterpillar down the hill and uh, to the um, to the sawmill to be able to recover it because it's not uh, straight up to, uh, to garage recovery and it doesn't even require you to pull it to the parking it requires you to pull it to an intermediate location and then you would get you then you would get it well i hope you would get it because usually they are so vague uh i did see it in the mission description the actual name as a reward so that means we will get it uh, but I don't know, I think I've had situations where that was the case and wasn't the case and a different thing happened. Hopefully that's not what happens today. I'll be very, really sad if we do not get that truck. At the very least, if we unlock it so we can buy it, I'll be happy with that as well. Anyway, let's uh, head on up. We have unlocked this uh, pathway uh, in a previous episode, I think two episodes ago or something. Uh, this doesn't come uh, stock unlocked, you actually have to go through um, some of the other areas. What was it? Through Mountain River to get White Valley and in White Valley you have to do like some cargo transfer from this warehouse here to the entrance to clear it out because this is blocked. Now, let's uh, set ourselves up. Actually, that was in Mountain River, right, right, right. That's why we wanted to go through here because this is... Um, like a little shortcut to actually get us in Mountain River on the other side of Mountain River. Uh, we cannot select it. Yeah, we can't select it from here. We have to actually be in the area. Now, I was really impressed with the um, Caterpillar, what was it, CT680 as a heavy truck. I kind of think that that will be replacing the Fleet Star for as great as they are. Uh, it just seems like a more solid truck, also a faster truck. Once you take into consideration uh, its a gearbox, they were both sharing off-road gearbox, but somehow I think that one was faster. And the fact that it has bigger wheels on a lowered suspension means it's a lot more stable uh, to ride. It has bigger wheels all the way than. Um, uh, than the Fleet Star. So for sure, uh, the CT680 is there to stay. Now, the jury is still kind of out on um, the Paystar versus this truck. I think overall this has a better section of tires, but we still don't have uh, both of the upgrades for them. And the Pace star still. I mean, we could get like chains for this truck, but I don't think we have the level. I think chains for the pay, for the pace star are like I don't know, higher level, like 16, 15, something. And that's really putting a crimp in how much I want to use the pace star, especially in Alaska. Okay, let's uh, set ourselves down here and see where we left off. There we go, that's the caterpillar. It's all wheel drive active, and that's it ourselves. The problem, again, we had was pulling strength. Uh, 
mostly, I think, through this uh, horrible snow. I don't know exactly what was the initial problem. Of course, the truck is uh, slightly offset now because uh, we reloaded the map. Wow, that was damage I just didn't want. Anyways, we do have the high strength uh, winch now. Let's hope the other wheel doesn't get stuck in the tree. And it did, didn't it? Of course it did. Uh, yeah, because we do not... Oh, this is not a trailer, so we cannot winch it separately. Okay, that's great. Let's break this winch. And let's pull the ass of that vehicle a bit out. And I think this isn't, e this isn't even the hardest part of this uh, quest, of this mission. Uh, I guess we could do that. Oh wow, wh why Why is it bending this way? Why? Oh god. Uh, this is literally turning to be a nightmare. the heavy winch was a good investment. Okay, let's break that down. Oops, sorry guys. And let's see if we can stall this ever so slightly better than we did the first time. We'll try and do a straight pull of this just to get that get that back on the road. This new engine. And this is the first time I've been using this engine in these trucks, and this new engine actually hauls ass through the snow. It's great. Nope. Oh God. That wasn't enough. And you don't have like side anchor points on this, which is very very weird. Like, you're not ang- Oh, you actually do, but you don't have any rear anchor points, I guess. I don't know. But why does it do that? I just don't know. It, it scissors itself. Mm, I actually have half a mind, maybe, to just restart the quest altogether. But uh, I'm just gonna give this a bit more of a shot here. I mean, I, I don't know why it does that. I don't actually have zero idea why it does that. It just scissors itself in such a way. I think it's like trying to simulate the cab itself. So, I don't know, maybe if I... Okay, let's break that away. Maybe if I pull it, even though it doesn't make sense, if I pull it through here, maybe... Yeah, there we go. That's that that's super silly. So basically what I need to do to get this out is pull it this way. <laughs> Either way, it shouldn't uh, twist on, on its own. But I'm not sure that's gonna help us in any way, will it? think so. Hmm. 
you know what? Let, let me be an asshole. Let me just uh, give this a, an honest shot. Room. Let's play some karma again. Okay, and using this, let's try to. Yeah, this is the heavy winch, so I don't have the range. Yeah, sadly. Uh, but we do... We can do this. This is a strong tree. I mean, I'm sure this is not how we should be doing recovery operations, but it is what it is. Slipping back, so every time I do this, it's actually pushing it a bit out of the way. Which I'm not sure that's not enough, but let's see if we can put to, to task what we've learned. So, if we want the trailer to move to the left side, we have to pull it to the right side. Well, at the very least, we, we have to pull it straight, right? As much straight as we can. Okay, so basically, if we do this... Oh, okay, actually, you know what, guys? Let's... Let's reset this. Although, literally... But let's just reset this. Uh, what was this? Working stiff, right? Uh, start tracking... Oh, but we can't reset it, can we? Okay, that's kind of bad. And actually, this will start around the fuel. I wonder whether it's smart to maybe actually do that and get it repaired. But if we're going to be doing that, we should probably be recovering it. Uh, I mean, this would make it a lot harder once it's actually empty fueled anyway so we have, have to refuel it but again we have a stronger truck let's uh, reset the quest and let's try it again let's not uh, spend half an hour putting around that tree okay that restarted it wow 100% fuel status so what did it lose almost 97% of the fuel? Just how much we... Uh, winched it? Okay, either way, let's make sure this is super close to us. Let's stick to a low plus gear. Okay, that's close enough. Let's pay super attention to the, to the truck itself and where is it going. are very flexible but it really isn't okay, let's switch to low normal gear will be slower okay what really really Um, okay, let's drop that, let's get ourselves ever so slightly forward, and uh, let's try pulling again. Okay, I honestly have no idea 
what's happening here? This is literally a heavy winch and the top engine on the BM-17. Uh, this should not be this difficult. Is the engine on it not starting or something? Okay, um... Usually you'd get the start engine thing, so maybe the engine is entirely broken right now. Can we check its status? Uh, yeah, the engine is completely fucked. So let's do this. Um, Let's leave this here for a moment, let's go get that uh, service trailer, because honestly, if this truck will be fighting me, I have zero idea. Actually, for future notice, we will probably want to uh, take it down this very straight path, we do, will not want to uh, move it around on that horrible shaky path. So let's just get here, let's uh, grab that service trailer, take it back, and repair this. We need this uh, truck not to fight us. I think maybe the reset uh, activated its fuel. Uh, you know, just to max out its fuel when it shouldn't have. And I don't remember actually getting the um, engine start, the uh, engine shut off, whatever notices last time I pulled it either. So uh, let's just go. Let's grab the service rail, let's repair it, make sure the engine is good, make sure the. Well, it's fueled up, but make sure everything is kosher. And then maybe it will actually help us instead of fighting us through this uh, mud. I'm not sure how heavy it is, but it seems to be super heavy. And minus getting another heavy truck out here, like the P12 or something, which would do terrible, terrible in this, uh, in this environment. I uh, have no idea how we should be getting that out. I don't co op, maybe, and getting uh, two dudes with winches or something. But uh, no, we definitely need more strength for that. Or at the very least, uh, using its own engine to help us winch it out. Service trailer here. Okay, what's the problem? Oh, functions open. I hate that so much. I don't even don't even know what it's connecting to. Sometimes you have those uh, spots where you don't need them, and have and don't have them where you need them. That's how we do it in the trucking business. Just uh, attach that trailer on the go with magnetic uh, clamps or whatever the hell. Check how much how many supplies this, ha this has active, but it should be like a full load of supplies, and we don't need any fuel because it is fully fueled up apparently.
might have been smarter to actually grab this trailer uh, exactly before we left off. But oh well. By the way, this uh, the BM17 plus the engine is making quick work of this train, and that's very nice. Let's park this uh, just extremely out of the way. We don't want this to be a problem for us. Okay, this is actually perfect. V, repair. Uh, sure. 688. Thankfully, the service trailer has more than enough. Perfect. Deliver to the lumber mill, Caterpillar 745C. Either way, let's do a detached trailer. We will not be needing this right now. Uh, I wonder, can we do change truck? Oh, can we do change truck? I don't think so. I really, really don't think so. Yeah, no. So let's uh, winch it and hopefully it will fight us less now. Didn't look like it had the parking brake on or something, but maybe it's just that heavy. Uh, let's try winching the short side. Oh wow, no. It literally does not, does it? Or does? I don't know, it's moving. I'll take it. I don't know, maybe because the engine was broken, it's, you know, things were broken, it was actually push, putting resistance in. Either way, this is m moving, if nothing else, so I'm good with that. I'm uh, winching it just to make sure. I jinxed it, didn't I? I entirely jinxed it. We just need to get back to the road. That's all we need to do. Let's keep this winch rolling for a bit. Usually it keeps away if you keep uh, winching it. Yeesh. Okay. Let's drop the winch. Let's see maybe a different anchor point. Just does enough to it, but I don't think so. Oh, I think it is. It's inching. Hmm. I just have no idea what's the actual problem here. I don't know, is it the weight? Is it... Okay, not having a differential lock is... Maybe not helping, but still, no, that's not the problem here. I think it's just the snow. I think the problem here is actually just the snow. Getting snow under those tires just produces too much friction. So you have to be super careful to keep this off of the snow. Okay, 
in that case let's go full low off of the snow as much as we can. Man, we still have a fair bit to go, don't we? Absolutely no idea. Okay, let's try getting ourselves out of this. Maybe we have some more traction down here. And this is with the heavy winch. Eesh. Yeah, but um, apparently the plus uh, high range works better than actually trying to inch it. So I don't know, maybe it needs more force. This is by far the weirdest weirdest feeling. Uh, cargo I ever hauled or delivered. Okay, let's put that on the road and let's get our souls back up on the road. Okay, let's uh, break off that winch. Let's get ourselves safe. I don't think uh, turning radius would be a problem for that truck, but... Okay, this is us back on the road here. And let's winch it for from the long side. Yeah, no, the winch itself does just doesn't have the power. It's only moving on truck power. Okay, let's let's not be overly excited. Keep it on the nice solid path there. Push it back. Of anything that wants to happen right now, pushing it back is not one of them. Come on, let's just get you on the road, and I think from that point onwards it should be smooth sailing. Oh, oh my lord, we are running out of uh, fuel on this. <gasps> um, um, I totally did not notice that. Okay, stop the engine. Stop the engine handbrake and let's have a look. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Um, okay, so uh, we do have an option to get the trailer store here. I'm not sure if 
7 liters will be enough to get us there? This is some thick snow. I don't want to risk it, but can we just try and get this? So well, we can totally suck some fuel away from it. Yeah, I guess we, we should just do that. Phew. And we can totally come back. Oh, come on, 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 come on. The engine does start to shake and have problems at very low fuel. Okay, V, refuel from the caterpillar. Okay, this just get us proper. I can't believe we wasted 180 liters of fuel just moving this around. But at, I guess whatever we're going at, uh, 15 liters a minute. I imagine that's a thing that can happen. Also, what, 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 what? Let's keep a bit of distance, shall we? Does not be that friendly? Well, either way, actually, we can totally yoink all the fuel because at this point it's not counting uh, if the fuel or the repair for the state of the truck itself. So we can totally yoink all of its fuel. Whoa, 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 whoa. And yeah, this is totally climbing all over me. Uh, let's do this. Let's refuel. Um, okay, the winch is on, so I have to click this. Okay, we got some damage, but we don't care about that. Let's be still safe. Let's not get too much snow, but really, that wasn't an issue. Oh, God. Good as new. Well, almost. We'll only get a good... We're certainly get a good few more years out of this thing. Here's your pay. Reward. Caterpillar 745C and cash and something. So, at this point, if we release the winch, can we switch trucks? Yes, we can. This is our new Caterpillar. Uh, it doesn't have any differential lock. And, okay, this is ever slightly weird, but I guess I can work with it. At the very least, it's short and you can totally uh, do off-road conditions. Uh, let's just recover it back to the garage. Uh, Northport, yes. And let's have a look at it. Oh my god, it's entirely hard and also gorgeous. Customize. Engine-wise, we do have an engine upgrade. Uh, so it shares the V16 engines, I guess. Thoroughly improved engine variant, additional protection, as well as improved power output. Okay, so we can get at most an A for a C minus consumption. Yeesh, C minus. Okay, so it's not per se the strongest, but it's just, I think the part weight is tied to the engine capacity itself. Gearbox. Okay, it does have an advanced gearbox. We will want this uh, when we're hauling loads. It only has a stock suspension, but I think it's a thing for it, just because it's so wonderfully uh, angled and we will have no problems with these 71 inch tires. <laughs> uh, right, so there, it, there is an unlock. I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, these actually do different things. So this is the best. This is an upgrade. The, f the 4 is an upgrade to the 1, but the 3 is better at off-road than the 4. Well, I guess we'll... This is rank 15. Okay, not a problem. I guess we'll just uh, keep it. It's entirely possible that we are not able to mount these tires yet, but they come stock on the truck. So if we were to have bought this... Oh, this is a heavy? Yeah, it's heavy. Uh, let's put it up with the extended heavy winch. Differential lock engageable, frame add-ons. Oh, that's it? <gasps> oh no. Oh no, please don't tell me. So basically this cannot pull. Oh. Can it pull trailers? Yeah, it has a trailer hitch, I think. I can see it. So it can pull trailers. Uh, I actually want to test that out, so bear with me, guys. 
you can pull trailers at least, that'd be nice, but if uh, this is stuck to whatever container carrying, that would be terrible. Okay, trailer store. Yep, no trailers available for this truck. Uh, we do have a trader here, let's give that a shot, maybe, maybe, but I don't think so. Oh, I'm so sad. I am utterly so sad. I really thought we could mount uh, a semi-trader on this. I really, really thought. Yeah, for sure not. I guess, well, there are some things which are containers which we can put on it, which would be nice, I guess, but most of the cargo we are hauling is gonna be its own dedicated semi-rig with the high saddle, so this is useless for us. I am literally really sad right now. Well, either way guys, uh, that was the Caterpillar 745C recovery, which was horribly hard, and I think for no real or good reason, just because the truck itself behaved differently on snow, with all the weight, and I think I know that the tires weren't counting for the... I don't know, there was something related to the game mechanics that made this harder than it should have been. Uh, anyway guys, uh, thank you guys for watching, uh, do leave a like. Uh, do subscribe to my channel. I post uh, SnowRunner uh, videos daily, or I have at this point for a month, with more with more than a month. Uh, they're all going to be about 30 to 40 minutes at the most. I try just enough to uh, give it a watch or uh, listen before work. Anyway, she performed. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.